The Velvet Revolution peacefully evicted the Soviet Union from Czechoslovakia. Only one man could lead the new free state. And for Václav Havel, the dissident playwright who'd spent years in communist jails, it was a reversal of fortune to rival that of Nelson Mandela in South Africa. I think Václav Havel was one of the giants of, of modern history. He was a moral and political force behind, behind the liberation, not just of Czechoslovakia in 1989, but really of all of Eastern Europe. The crucible of 1968, when Soviet tanks rolled into Prague and crushed a nascent democracy movement, gave rise to a small but stubborn cadre of Eastern European writers and intellectuals dedicated to combating Soviet tyranny. Havel's jailhouse letters to Olga, his much-admired first wife, remains among his most revered writings, alongside a 1978 essay entitled The Power of the Powerless. His thesis was that totalitarian regimes were built on lies and he was urging people on an individual basis to take steps, even small steps, not to participate in the lie, not to live within the lie, but to live within truth. In the decade Havel spent as president of Czechoslovakia and later the Czech Republic, the country transitioned to free market capitalism and joined NATO and the EU. Havel's own transition from hippie playwright to tuxedoed head of state sometimes disquieted him, but he remained an unabashed fan of Springsteen, Zappa and the Stones and a hero to champions of freedom everywhere. 